What's good, YouTube? What's good, man? It's your boy IQ, man. You dig? Um, I figured, hey, today I might as well show you guys who don't know and who or who needs to know how to properly clean a grill. You know what I mean? The yellow gold, the white gold. If you look, it's a little tarnished looking. See how the gold is all dark and shit? Hold on, that light is in the way. You see how the gold is all dark? You see the gold dark, right? Tarnished. You got food on the inside of it and shit. All right. Because um, I got white gold, yellow gold, right? Damn it, cuts. Um, so I'm gonna show you the first step, which is disinfecting your um, your grill. You gotta disinfect your grill when you clean it or you're not even cleaning it properly. So let's get into it. Okay, as you can see, I got my hydroperoxide. You need hydroperoxide. Got my, my grill and my little thing. I'm gonna put the grill in so it can soak. You have to do this or you never cleaned your grill properly, bro. Excuse the counter, the counter kind of dirty, my fault. I'm over here cooking. Okay, let me see, is that enough? You gotta put enough that it soaks. I think that's enough, hold on a little bit more. I got crumbs and shit. Um, my fault, y'all. All right, so boom. Well, that's my food. So boom, I'm gonna set this in here. Then we're gonna let, get, let it, you know what I mean? Soak in there for about five minutes. I might need to put a little bit more in there. You see the, the food and shit from inside my grill coming off already. You see you see it activated? Look at it. Look at it disinfecting it. You see it? Disinfect. If you're not disinfecting your grill when you clean it, you are not cleaning your grill. I repeat, if you do not disinfect it before you clean it, if you just go to soap and Dawn or whatever you think you're using, um, you're not cleaning it, bro. You're not cleaning it. You have to prop, you have to disinfect it, man. You, you can get a fucking mouth gum disease and all oh, your breath going to be stinging. So always remember... Disinfect first. We're going to let that sit for like five minutes. I'll be back. So as you see, there's all type of shit that I, from food and just different shit that was on the inside of my grill. Um, it, it disinfected the inside and the whole thing. So you see all that shit, that nasty little dirt and shit in there and probably it's just food shit that's caught up in there. But um, I'm about to use these tongs. Hold on. I'm going to use these tongs. Take them out. You can use whatever you got. You know what I mean? I just don't want to use my finger because it's dirty water. Um, even though it's my mouth, but still, um, trying to keep the grill as clean as possible. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rinse it off in the sink, and then we gonna move on to step two. Okay, your boy IQ back. Um, so step two, step two, and these are all household items you have. Um, step two, you're gonna want to use toothpaste. This is what you're gonna need: toothpaste, a spare toothbrush, and baking soda. All right. So this is where the polishing and um, the polishing and the cleaning of your grill comes from. Uh, you're going to put a little bit on, you put some baking soda. I'll put the baking soda on first, just because, you know what I'm saying. See, put a little bit on the, on the hold on, let me show you. See, look like some Yoler. Put the little toothpaste on there. And I also like to, I like to, um, me personally, I like to have the grill a little bit wet so it's kind of gets soapy. So I'm going to put a little bit of this water on there. I got to, hold on, let me see, that's swamp water right here. Yeah, I feel you. So, let me see where that cup at. So what I'm gonna do is, got a clean cup. Put this on. I'm just improvising a cup. You can rinse it out in your sink. You can put water on your sink so it's a little drippy, you see? And you're gonna hit it, you're gonna hit it with the brush. You're gonna polish and brush. You wanna hit the inside, outside of the grill. Um, I'm just doing it right here because it's, it's really better to do it over the sink you know what I mean? Cause with the water running. But um, yeah, so hit this. Make sure you clean that motherfucker good. This way, all that tarnish and all that, you see how it's gonna be the gold gonna be back yellow again. That it was kind of like tarnish. You can see it comes from smoking with your grill. You know what I'm saying? If you smoke with your grill in, um, really it's smoking tarnish it, not food. You shouldn't eat with your grill in at all. Um, you can drink with it. Um if you drink with it, alcohol or something or anything with foamy. It'll be all in the grill. So that's what we're doing. We're cleaning all that off. We're going to polish it up so it's going to look real, real pretty. Hold on. It's already, you can kind of see it's already coming back to, to life. It ain't as tarnished as it was looking, right? Hit the back. Hit the inside up. Hit the whole thing. So after this, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to hit this like, I'm going to scrub brush it for like another minute because I'm a perfectionist. Or like another two, three minutes because I'm a perfectionist. But um, after this, we're going to get to step three, the third and final step. And I'll be back right back. Okay, so I just finished um, 
hitting it with the tooth, the toothpaste and the um the baking soda, which gives it that nice polish and also cleans it. Um and I did you can also do a bonus. Um I hit it with the Dawn. You can use like antibacterial bacterial uh soap, um, dish detergent, yarn, any any I said yarn, Dawn, anything with you know antibacterial. So you can kind of see like it's more shinier already. And I didn't do the final step yet. You see, it's gleaming. It's, it's not as tarnished looking dark. The gold ain't dark no more. You see, the diamond cuts is busting. Um, so let's do the uh, let's do the third and final step, and then we finish. Yeah. Also, another thing why I don't have no shirt on is because that baking soda. If if you know, you know, baking soda will splash everywhere. T toothpaste will splash everywhere on your shirt. So it's best you put an old shirt on when you're doing this and have no shirt on or. Cover some, put some because if you got some on that while you're doing a toothbrush, it's gonna splash everywhere. You're gonna have a bunch of white specks all on your shirt and you're gonna be pissed. So, if you're asking, that's why I have no shirt on. So, let's get to this uh, fourth, uh, third and final step. My bad, third and final step. Yeah. Okay, so we got the, the water boiling. This is where we hit it with the boiling water. The final step, you see, the grill is already actually you know back to normal. You know what I'm saying? It's not remember, it was all burgundy looking ish. The gold, you see how it's the shining and boom, 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 they hitting, boom. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm, some people drop theirs in the pot. I don't because I feel like it's too hot and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna shock it. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. So I'm gonna show you the way I do it. Boom, boom, boom. So what we're finna do is, I'm finna take that same boiling water very carefully because it is boiling and I'm finna to pour it in there. I got my own separate bowl with the grill is already in there. I'm gonna pour that boiling water in there and this is gonna like make the gold, you know what I'm saying, kind of retract back. Your grill won't be loose in your mouth if you had grills. You know, sometimes if you keep wearing them, wearing them, they can get um, loose. Um, this is a way that you can retract it and just put that final, that final good steam on it. You know what I mean? And get it back tight. You know what I mean? And then you're gonna be blinging. So uh, we're gonna wait like five minutes until it's cool down, and I'm gonna come back and show y'all what the grill looking like. We back. So we round. We <laughs> pretty much at the end now. So uh, got the tongs, cleaned them off one time. Same tongs I used earlier because you don't want to burn your hand. It's just boiling hot ass water, and um. Yeah, we're gonna put it on a napkin. So they they let us tarnish, they shine again, man. You hear me? They shine. So we're gonna set them right there. I'm gonna kinda wanna let it cool off. And then I'm gonna pop them in and let y'all see the final result, man. Okay, boom, and we back. Let's put the grill in. Let's do the let's do the blink touch. Mm-hmm. They back, baby. See the midges? It's slow more, huh? Let me slow more real quick. I'm slow more. Bling, bling. Every time I look at that bitch hitting. Look, look, hold on, hold on. Every time I come around, y'all say that bling, bling. Hold on, hold on. Pinky ring, rough hop out, fit that bling, bling. Look at the cuts. Bling. Look at them, look at them bust. Look at them bust. Look at them bust. Hold on, hold on. Here go. See? And that's how easy it is to clean your grizz nails. You dig? You see him? You see him here? Look at him, bitches here. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.